Hey guys, it's Monday, January 25th, and this is a purple through black belt class, and I'm back. That's right, I'm back here on the mat at Leading Edge. It's good to be back. It's been a, been a tough two weeks here. One week of quarantine, well, actually about a half week of quarantine, and then positive COVID tests, and, and then dealing with COVID and all that good stuff. So, But I'm back. The good news is I'm no longer contagious. Um, I dealt with it pretty well. I'm feeling pretty strong. Um, yeah, I'm a little tired, I'm definitely. The, the effects of COVID are not gone. I'm still tired. Um, I still have a COVID cough, um, not a contagious COVID cough, just a COVID cough, which is kind of mixed with my asthma. So, but I'm here. I do have to, and since ACG is back too, we have to take it very easy for the next week or two as we ease our way back into our routines, guys. So we're going to be low key. I'm not going to be very loud. I'm not going to be very animated. And my warm ups and demonstrations are going to be very brief as I get winded pretty easy. But we appreciate you guys understanding, being uh, uh, sympathetic, supportive, and being Lima strong. Before we get started, guys, make sure you do your warm ups. So pause the video, go to the app, click on curriculum, click on Lima Online, do your warm ups, and then come back when you guys are done. All right, welcome back. All right, guys, so we're going to do our normal grappling warm ups today. Yeah, I want you guys to start with your shrimping drills. I'm not going to break it down a lot. I broke it down last week. We've all done shrimping before. This is part of your warm-up now. Okay, so you can do some laps around your house and your shrimping. Remember to get your body offline. Lift and offline. Lift and offline. Make sure you're getting completely on the side. Okay? And your feet are not disconnecting from the floor. Okay? Completely on your side. Feet are not disconnecting from the floor as you shrimp out. Okay, do some shrimps around the house. Next warm up, you guys already know. Partner shrimping, just how you're gonna do some more shrimps. Have somebody stand right over your hips. You're gonna put your hands on their shins and shrimp out and shrimp around the house as well. Okay, don't have anybody to demonstrate that with today. Okay, but you guys have all seen it before. We did it last week as well. Pause the video, get your partner shrimping done. All right, so now we're gonna do some bear crawls. Remember the bear crawls. Just gonna wag the tail as we do our bear crawl. Do a couple laps around your house with the bear crawls. Okay, welcome back. See what I mean, guys? I get a little winded here. Now we're gonna do some gorilla walks. When we do our gorilla walks, remember, the arms are like this, no bend in your wrists, wrists are nice and straight like so. Okay, we're gonna gorilla walk around the house here. So we reach out. All our body weight's on the hands and the arms. Let's bring our feet forward. We're gonna walk around the house. Pause the video, come back when you guys are done. Okay, welcome back. Last one for today this is gonna be your four corner drill. We did it last week. I'll demonstrate it for you guys real quick, once in each direction, up to you to rewind it as you need to. Okay, remember, the feet replace the hands. So. Left foot to right hand, right foot to left hand, left foot to right hand, right foot to left hand. Notice 90 degrees on each of those turns, 90 degrees on exact one quarter turn. Now I'm gonna go the opposite way. Right foot to left hand, left foot to right hand, right foot to left hand, left foot to right hand. Boom. And feel free to do a little freestyling of that on your own, okay? Pause video, come back when you guys are done. Okay, welcome back. So now guys, we're gonna need a grappling partner today. What I wanna talk about is a transition <clears throat> from side control to knee on belly riding, okay? To knee on belly riding. So we're gonna have to start in a nice side control on our opponent here, okay, right here. Nice side control. Lots of different attacks we can do from here. We talked about some of them recently. So from here, I want to get the knee to belly. Okay, maybe I want to, I want to get up higher. I want to hit the, I want to set up some other types of submissions. Um, maybe I'm having trouble holding him in this position. I want to wear him out a little bit more. Maybe I'm just want to be mean to my partner. His knee on belly is not nice. Okay, so from here, I'm going to take this hand. I'm going to slide it onto his hip. Okay, it might be on his hip bone. I might grab a little cloth. It might be on his belt. I love it if he's got a belt, you can just grab the belt. Here, I'm gonna slide this hand. 
right up into where his collar would be on his gi. Okay, I might grab his collar if I have it. If not, I'm just putting my hand right there on his shoulder blade there. From here, I'm gonna use my, my arms, I'm gonna do a push up. Boom, I'm gonna pop up. I'm gonna bring my knee across his midsection right here. Across that midsection. Now, I want my weight to be on his body, okay? I wanna be on his body, and I'm gonna post this leg out to the side. I'll show you that in a second. This, this guys, trust me, is not a pleasant feeling. Especially if you ate your way through COVID like I did, you ride very, very heavy just like this, okay? So I'm popping up right along his belt line. I don't wanna be below here. I don't wanna land on his groin. I don't want my, arm, my leg to be perpendicular like this. It's gonna be completely perpendicular to his body. I don't wanna be angled, perpendicular running across his body, parallel with his waistline. Okay, right along, right above, on the bottom of his stomach, right above the hip bone, so I get the most pressure and where there's no bone to support me. Okay, so again, <clears throat> I'm starting here. Hand to here, hand to here. From here, I'm gonna pop, bang, right up on top of him just like this. Okay, we can ground and pound from here. We can attack arms from here, okay? Let me show you from the side. I want you to see how that leg posts. Okay, so I start in that side mount position here. Okay, hip, shoulder or collar, pop up. Now, a couple things to notice. Now he's got a really small waist, so my foot's kind of dangling here, but what I want you to see is that I'm not holding myself up on my foot. I, that takes the weight off. I want my weight to be on it. And then I have this leg posting out like a kickstand. Some of you guys make the mistake of putting it here. Now this guy's gonna hook that leg and now he's gonna take you down. You gotta keep that kickstand away from him and all your weight on him so you can ground and pound. So your job here, first drill, whatever kind of bag you're working on, whether you have one of these grappling dummies or something else, I want you to get a good 10 reps, 10 to 20 reps in, pop it up into your knee on belly ride from both right and left. So I'm here, starting a good side mount, boom, boom. Posture up, knee on belly, right there. What's out, okay, and we can go from there. So let's pause the video, get your reps in and pop it up, the knee on belly. All right, welcome back. Now guys, sometimes you're in knee on belly and they're squirming and now you wanna change position. So we're gonna pop from one side to the other side of knee on belly. When I do that, I'm in a knee on belly ride here, okay? I'm posting out. My hands are gonna plant, boom, and I'm just gonna pop over to the other side. I'm gonna put my weight on him. I wanna put it on the floor, because then when I do this jump, I'm taking all my weight off him. I'm just substituting the weight from my leg to my hands, bang, and I'm landing in that same position over here. Bang, okay? Another thing I like to practice this on, it's one of our cage bags. This kind of drill works great on here as well. You can see it a little bit more clean. See how this foot's off the ground here? Boom. I'm not resting that inside foot on the ground, but my weight's on his body. Boom. Boom, okay. So let's get 25 reps, transitioning from right knee on belly to left knee on belly. Right knee on belly, left knee on belly, okay? All right, good. Finally, you're in this good knee on belly ride, guys. Maybe you're doing some ground and pound, whatever. This guy's not gonna like it. Inevitably, he's gonna make a mistake. One thing he'll likely do is push away. He tries to push up. Get your weight off him. He tries to turn, tries to move. When he pushes up, what do we have here? Well, you guessed it. I have an easy arm bar. He's, he's extending this arm for me. I'm already halfway in position. I'm just gonna kick that leg over his head. And I'm just gonna sit, boom. And there is my arm bar. We went over our standard arm bar last week. Very, 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 very easy to get to. From knee on belly. If he tries to push up, push me off him. I just grab that wrist, swing that leg around, sit right down, pull them as close to my hips as I can as I work that arm bar, okay? 
here, here. I'm just gonna kick that leg over and sit right into it, okay? Do that from the other side. We're here, we're here. He pushes up, just kick that leg over the head and I sit and there's my arm on, guys. All right, so let's get a good 20, 25 reps on both your left and your right. Grab that single arm bar from neon belly. All right, welcome back. Hope you guys got all that. Um, I'm a little tired now. Having lots of fun teaching again. Hey guys, real quick, Matt chat for today. It's a, it's a Rocky quote. It's, it's probably the best thing that came out of Rocky V, which was a terrible movie. But this quote is fantastic. And Rocky says, it's not about how hard you can get hit, but it's how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Life is not all sunshine and raised nets, guys. It's a mean and nasty place, and it's going to hit you, and it's going to knock you down. And when it knocks you down, it's what you do next that matters most. Are you going to be that one that makes excuses, beaten down, and gives up? Be that one that gets back up off the mat and keeps fighting, keeps punching, keeps moving forward. That's what Rocky did. That's how winning is done. Guys, COVID-19 knocked me down to the mat. But I never for a second thought about staying there. Since they see you and I are back here and we're punched away and we're moving forward. So guys, it's not about how hard you can get hit. It's about hard, how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Thanks for training hard, guys. Thanks for being Lima Strong. We'll see you online and I'll see you on the mat. Peace.